Plaguestone, Tycho Nice, Lay Damanard. It's Plaguestone, Tycho Nice, Plaguestone ahead to Tycho Nice. And weaving through late is Multaja. Madame Rouge, Multaja, Multaja burst through, grab the lead of Multaja. Multaja is brilliant by a length and a half from Madame Rouge. It's been a big couple of years for Godolphin James up in, in Brisbane and I mean uh, you've come close a couple of times this carnival but I mean it'll be nice to knock one over this weekend. Yeah look it's, uh, it's, a, it's a feature race day straight road day and we've, we've got horses here that have been building up to this race day and it's a culmination of many many months of planning, training and good form in, under race conditions that the horses have had to pass through, pass through those sorts of hoops to be, uh, to be even considered as chances for us as a, as a team on the weekend and that's what makes those those good wins really enjoyable. Uh, we're going into this weekend with five stakes winners from the carnival so far starting with Plaguestone back in back in about um, April and I think that I think that that speaks volumes for the, the great effort the guys have put in and the, the attention to detail that they've paid um, to, to produce those results and, and the horses are strong and they're fit and they're tough and they're ready to, they're ready to go again this weekend I can assure you. Yeah I suppose has there been a horse that, that's maybe not surprised you but one that you've been really pleased with how they've, how they've uh, thrived I suppose in Queensland since, since coming up here maybe one that exceeded expectation? Well I think it'd be a little hard to say I think they've been nicely shared around Sebastiano's done a great job to, 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 to return a, uh, another stakes victory for her career. Uh, it's been a, it has been a while between wins for her, and so I think I think I thought her win a couple of weeks ago was excellent. Um, but we were we were stoked to see Osorian keep his maintain his unbeaten first up record. Plague Stones won won us two stakes races from um, from origins of a of a frustrating um, nearly but not quite there two year old last season, and, uh, and and so Queensland's been a great hunting ground for him. And look, Osborne Bulls trekking, they're placed in Group 1s and they've done, great, they've done a great job um, in, in, in achieving that, but we know that we'd love to go a little closer and, um, and trekking is one horse that gets an opportunity to build on that Group 1 placement and, uh, and go a little closer in the Stradbroke. So, so uh, look, the Stradbroke's a great target for him, it's a great target for three of our others as well, and, uh, and they'll, be, they'll be fighting fit, ready to go on, on, um, for their target, and we'd be pretty confident in our processes that we've done our best for them. And just finally, I mean, you've had a great year in Queensland, obviously starting with Magic Millions time earlier this season. Um, I mean, are you well looked after when you come up to Queensland? Do you enjoy coming up and spending time? Yeah, who's asking? We are, we are very well looked after. Um, the, uh, the, the club have been terrific, uh, starting with Matt Rudolph, Bart Sinclair, a uh, mixture of the old and the new there, but they're, 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 they've looked after us. We've got a little area there and a stables that's it's not far from the 600 metre mark here. Um, there's a squawking chicken just through the cage there that the horses can hear and the staff, I don't know if it's driving the staff crazy but it's certainly keeping the horses relaxed and, uh, and, and they've enjoyed their time here where everyone's worried about it being quite cold this morning but I can promise you it's nothing compared to the, the frost at the foot of the Blue Mountains where we train at, the, at Agnes Banks and, uh, and it's, it's quite, quite nice and a pleasure to come out on the course proper and produce these gallops this morning for, uh, for the horses to be at their best on the weekend.